Hello everyone, welcome back to the Road to Rank 1. This is a game I'm recording immediately after the previous episode, after the LeBlanc game. I'll show you the match history after our level 1 concludes. I've gone for the Tristana in this game, which is for a couple reasons. Well, one, I have a Karthus, so we really need an AD mid if possible. Karthus is a very good solo AP because he has a lot of unavoidable damage with his ult. Um, so yeah, he's really solid as the only AP on the team where they can't just stack him up. And we also have a Kai'Sa. Um, so obviously with the Kai'Sa in there as well, that's a lot of additional AP. Who is this guy? <laughs> Who is he voting me here? But anyway, let's take a look at the match history real quick. So we're currently sitting at still 75% win rate, 49 wins, 16 losses. Um, and we're rank 41 out of those videos. So yeah, let's see how we go. Now I will say I'm not particularly good at Tristana. I do think it's a pretty easy game for those. So the only real punishment for being short range is a Nivea. And uh, that's not too bad. And obviously like as, as the game goes on, like it, it gets a bit easier for you as you get a, you know, more attack speed and stuff like that. Um, anyway, so I should get priority in this lane very easily. I can look to jump on a level two. So what I'm probably going to try and do is not push the wave too much at level one. Just keep it even. So I'm just going to match her for autos, bearing in mind that I do a tiny bit more damage. And I just want to kind of set it up that I can jump on her at level two. Now she might have started Q, which um, if she did, I want to try bait it out. And then I just want to W directly onto her. I do want to make sure as well that I don't lose my bone plating at level one, because I really want that up to jump on her at level two. So a lot is happening here just to kind of set up for this. I really hope that he uses an ability, but I don't think he's going to. Um, but I should hit level 2 very slightly before him. I'm actually going to skill E here, and then I'm just going to look for the level 2 jump. So I just go for this. I get stunned. That's fine. It's still a good trade for me. Like, even if you don't proc the mini autos on the bomb, it still ends up being very good. And because I'm AD, I can just continue to push in the lane and obviously life still up and stuff like that. So with Tristana playing with Karthus, like, you got to remember that you're not going to receive any assistance pretty much. Like, Karthus is not a ganking champ, but that's fine because you're very difficult to gank and you also get a lot of priority. So you can help him out a lot. Like, I think Tristana is really good with Karthus. I guess the only downside is that you don't really bring any CC for each other, um, which normally is a pretty big downside downside honestly but I think Karthus is just quite unique in the way he plays so it's not too big a deal now I'm just going to hard shove this to make it difficult for Anivia to farm under tower um, and I don't really have anything to do with my priority right now so I'm actually just going to bomb her tower and it's not so much to do damage to it as opposed it is to do damage to the next wave oh I actually procced it I put it on there a little earlier a little too early like normally you stack up the bomb and then you aoe the bomb on her and on the wave and it makes it really hard for her to contest push so I should have got this wave kind of low but I sort of messed it up um, she procs my bone plating, but ultimately that's not too bad. If I can waste Diana's time and bring her mid, that would be really good. Um, obviously, any CS lead I get or any plates that I get is really good too. I want to be able to move to like scuttles and stuff though, so I'm going to pay a lot of attention to what Carthus is doing and, and be able to move to those really early if I feel the need to, basically. Um, okay, so this wave's going to come out in the middle, which gives... Ooh, yikes. This gives me an opportunity to jump on Anivia if she walks too far up. I don't have the bone plating, so I have to be careful. But I can just kind of sit here and kind of play on the edge of the, the creep here and make it a little difficult for her to CS, which is... Yeah, obviously that feels good. I wanted to kind of use something here, but it's getting difficult. As soon as I have bone plating up, I am just going to jump on her. Um... Pretty much no matter what, if you have bone plating, you're always going to go at least even in the trade. So I'm going to play heavily around that. And as soon as I get it, I will just look to go pretty much. Especially because I have this creep advantage. Oh, now though, Karma might come mid. So I might actually hold on for a sec. Oh, no Q. And Karma's... Ooh. I'd be down to just fight that guy. Okay, so Karma shows back bot. This Q should be back up. I might now play for level 5 spike, and that's when I'm going to go. I'm just trying to play around different spikes and stuff. Yeah, I think I get level 5 and that's when I look to jump on her. Maybe if we can get her to queue one of these creeps to farm it. I'm just going to go now. This should be a really good trade. Okay. Maybe could have W'd on her immediately there. Probably should have and then maybe I could have got her egg. But either way, it's still pretty good. Yeah, I think I should have just immediately W'd again. Would have got her egg. But either way, this is still really good. I'm not really scared of getting ganked either. So I'm just going to... I mean, that's fine. Just going to walk up and bomb the tower again. I can mostly just ignore her here. Hmm, that's a little bad. That's fine though. I mean, I see Diana. I'm happy to just walk this one out. Is she just going to help him shove the wave? He might. I mean, I'm down to 2v2 this. Oh, no way you do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to look for this guy. We know that uh, there can be no help. This guy should come. The Blitzcrank. I think this guy just dies here. Okay, just flashes the vault. Oof. 
dragon's a bit thick but ultimately it's pretty good okay so i do need to be a bit careful because i just used my ward and i don't have w now she's too low to gank me right now but she will look to gank later on i want to keep the pressure up on this anivia though i don't want her to give her a good first base so i'm just going to keep her pressured under tower at some point she's going to be forced into a fairly mediocre reset um and that's going to be like really really good for me obviously so I'm just going to continue to shove. Like, when, when she's, like, low like this, even if I can't actually kill her under tower, it's just so hard for her to actually farm the wave. And I can just keep taking plates. And obviously, more plates means more gold. It also sets up really nicely for if you get a herald later in the game. So I'll just do the same thing as before. Just walk up, try and proc the demolish. Mm, didn't quite get it. I, I probably could have got it, honestly. So she should reset here. And I want to, if possible, crash one more and take one more plate. And then I'll look to reset. So I'm just going to bomb the wave. Um this i think i should just be able to real quick tap this tower one more time okay so this sets up really nicely if we can manage to get a herald the problem is though that i can't really take any more plates 1v1 like most likely she has enough wave clear now that there's not much i can do um but we have built up a pretty significant lead so what are we gonna do i think noon quiver is kind of a must is she really gonna do this dude what a psycho okay let's go this um i'll tp back now she's actually lost a lot of her health so she might just try instantly base and it'd be really good if i can cancel that but i think she might be too far back so yeah i don't think i'm gonna get it now what i am gonna do though is shove like basically all my control onto top side so getting the herald is so so crucial when you're playing with tristana because it allows you to snowball the game so so effectively so I pretty much want to place all my wards topside. I want to like use all my prior to walk into topside. Pretty much all that. So I'm just going to come here, instantly shove this wave, and then I want to support Karthus on the red buff if I can. So I'm just going to shove this. I'm not too worried about what I'm doing in the 1v1 so much anymore. I'm just really focusing on securing this. Now I don't have my thing yet. She doesn't have flash. Okay. Well, she died, and Karthus got the kill, so that's basically the best possible outcome, but would have been nice if I'd had stuff up and I maybe could have killed, but either way, that's still pretty good. Like, we get the kill. Karthus getting kills is so, so big. This guy's used a lot of mana, but I don't think I can jump on him. So it's possible that she goes into bot side. Now, Anivia Rome is not particularly scary, so I'm probably not going to worry about it. No, there she is. Might have to W. Okay, didn't have to. She does have to be careful, because if she uses too many cooldowns aggressively, I can jump on her. But this is quite an annoying champ to play against. She doesn't actually do a lot of damage, though, because she's got... Wait, she put a cloth armor. I think that's actually kind of bad. So I'll talk about this real quick, but generally buying armor versus, like, push champs is actually not very good, because it's, like, real good versus champs that uh, can only all-in you. You know, champs like... Uh, I can't actually think of one off the top of my head. Like, stuff like Zed, Talon, Tristana. Like, yeah, the armor's kind of nice, but sure, like, if you do that, you just now can't actually contest the wave anymore. So, it's not as good as you'd think. Um, okay, so I'll continue shoving this. So, she definitely reset. I might try to stay on the map. Like, I still have a lot of resources, and if I can get more damage on this tower, it might incentivize Carthus to come mid again. Or come mid for the first time. Dinah's bot. Don't think I can get bot in time, so I'm just going to keep hitting the tower. But we got this very, very low. Oh, he missed that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna ping this for Karthus to come mid. I don't know where Anivia is. Like, she should have been mid by now. Yeah, there she is. Okay, but we got mid tower so low. I want Karthus to just come herald this pretty much immediately. And when we get this, it'll just blow open the map so much. And then we'll just be able to roam, like, basically wherever we want. Um, it, it really sucks that the rest of the team is losing so hard. Because I'm absolutely destroying. Like, we're going to get this mid tower and then... The game should be in, like, a, a really, really good spot. Okay, so she used a lot of cooldowns here. I'm just going to jump on her aggressively. I don't have ult, sadly, but... Okay. I think I just need to jump away. Um, I don't think I can do anything here. No, I'm a bit too low. Too low mana. That's unfortunate. That's pretty sad. Yeah, my bad. Oh, Actually, I don't know if my bad. Like, maybe I should have ulti Diana instead of Wing, because I don't have the mana for both. I think, yeah, maybe that was the play. Maybe could have got him out. Um, but I'll buy this, and then I will buy this. Can I buy anything else here? I mean, I guess I could buy... No, I can't buy anything else. I'll just go pink. I think we're still playing to Herald this tower. I mean, we really want to take it before plates drop. Otherwise, you know, the game's going to be really hard. I think the game is already quite hard, though. I'd be mean, bot lane... Oh, actually, I'm not too worried about bot lane. Like... I don't know, Fed Draven is tough if it gets like really fed, but if it's just like mildly fed, it's actually not too hard to deal with. 
Although these guys are getting kind of blasted from what I can see. Um, I'm just going to ping that W. Um, so I'll probably try to jump on a Nivea again straight away. Just going to flash this, okay? I guess her flash as well. So we should be able to take the tower. This is going to be good. Now, can I actually go for two towers? I don't think so. Um, but I'll try to get the crash in the next one. And I, also, I can now start thinking about going bot lane. Actually, yeah, so that's going to crash anyway. I'm just going to start coming in bot river and starting to try and lend my priority towards them. Try and make it a bit more difficult for him to play. I'm actually going to swap my pink to bot side, even though it's still alive on top side. So I don't really want to play for fights bot side. Like, I think an even fight would be pretty bad for us. But because I get so many, so much prior over mid, I can pretty much run anywhere without a Nivea really being involved in the play. Unless she TPs, in which case we can back off. So I'm just going to run down bot river here. There's a good chance that Diana is here. Um, but with a Nivea not here, I mean, it should be fine. I'm in river. Like, I really, really want to fight this. They're playing so aggressive. Let's just kill them. Okay, Rose well, Craven looks completely dead. So that's really good. Again, just using that mid prior to kind of snowball the map. Um, I don't know where Diana is then, because, like, if Diana didn't count against Kabat, but she's not going top, like, I guess she's just farming, but I don't actually know for sure where she is. Now, I want to hit drag, but this is a big wave. Uh, so I kind of have to go here. She's going to get one plate, I think. Diana makes a play bot. So I'm just going to come over here, clear out this wave. Got the cannon at least. Sad that bot lane died. Oh, actually, they got the Diana kill. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, we don't care too much about the the dragon. It's mainly just the kills. And Nivea's still in river, so I'm actually just going to blow up this wave and she's going to lose most of it. I wonder if I can actually get her mid tower. I think I might be able to. I can walk out to bot side if I need, and Diana's dead. Let's see if I can get it. It's going to be close. I think I got it. Okay, that's really nice. So because she kind of roamed off tempo, she ended up giving up her tower for it. So this is really good. I mean, we've got a lot of gold. I'm going to shove another wave. Um, just keep pressuring this. And then I'm probably going to look bot again. So I'm just going to shove this whole wave in. This guy just said in chat, how did Adivia lose two towers? Honestly, good question. He just kind of didn't play the lane that well. So, okay, we'll go Kraken. And then we start building Navori. So look at this. Uh, where's Navori? There it is. Get these two swords. So I have TP up, and I want to look to go to bot lane again. Like, if I can just keep camping and counter ganking bot lane. Oh, I'm down a TP. What the? Where did she go? Ooh, he wants it. <laughs> Dude, she knows. She's walking around. This guy should be alone, though, right? Yeah. I'm watching bot with TP if I need it. Nice hook. They're TPing. I'm in a match. Okay. Maybe I didn't need to match, but that's okay. I mean, I don't really... The thing is, I don't really value my TP very highly, so I can just afford to waste it. I probably should have waited a tiny bit longer, though, before I committed. But that's okay. I mean, Anivia shows bot. We'll be able to just clear this wave mid. Um, I can't really do anything top. Wow, Lowy has a hull breaker for his item. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a problem. That is not going to be easy to deal with. Like, I'm not even sure we can kill her with three at the moment. Nice hook. Diana is bot. And that normally means that we now make a play on top. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he's killable. I could probably kill Draven, though. I mean, this guy doesn't actually look that strong. I guess we'll take their camps, and that's all we'll get for now. Maybe I push this wave and then look to dive bot. Diana might look for me mid. I think it has to be Diana that clears the bot wave, because Nivea has no TP. I'm going to walk into bot side. I don't think I'm too scared of Diana. Okay, I might be able to clean this up when I get here. Oh, they're really low. Um, okay, if, if they don't have vision, I can cheese someone here, but I've got to be kind of careful. Damn, they actually just have everything still. Might get Draven altered. Okay, should be fine, unless it kills me on the way back. <laughs> That'd be really sad. No, okay, good that we're aware of it. So I'm just going to reset here. That was unfortunate. Maybe I could have killed Karma. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, did that guy... No, he got all his health back from Egg. I was like, did he TP? But no. All right, so I buy this. I go pink. Um, this Draven should die, I think. Ooh, he lives. Well, Diana should die, I think. Dude, if she lives too, I'm going to be upset. Oh, she looks dead. Oh my god, she's out. No way. Everyone just lives. 
At least Carthus is getting really, really strong, though. So I'm going to shove out Bot. Oh my god, this guy does a lot of damage. Oh, and Nivea's there, though. So that's not good. Carthus is definitely going to die, and Nivea's going to get kills. No, man. They're just... Everyone's living on one health. Which is totally good for Carthus. Dude, how is this guy 4-0? He hasn't done anything. I don't know how he got 4-0. Well, they have no TP, so I'll just hit Bot here. Dude, that's so weird. How is he 4-0? He's literally just done nothing. Some, but he just has four kills. I don't know. Well, I should get this tower, I think. So I'll grab this. This is more gold in my pocket. The game is... I don't know if the game is good or bad, though, because I'm not really scared of anyone except Alawi, but Alawi is, like, insanely strong, and Renekton, like, doesn't scale badly, but, like, we haven't gotten anything out of the Renekton pick either. Like, normally the thing you get with Renekton is, like, you know, a lot of early game strength around top and, like, heralds and stuff. You're not expecting to be, like, actually losing top. Now, this guy has so much armor because of Zonya that I don't think I can kill him. But at the same time, like, I can just pressure waves, so I'm not too worried about it. If he ever uses Q offensively, I'm probably just going to dash at him. Oh, he's level 12. Dude, how's he so far ahead of me? He's taking, like, two of his towers 1v1 and he's somehow just really ahead of me. Oh. Okay. Mm, this is not good. Well, no, not good. Okay, well, I got Carthus next to me. I need him to use Q or we'll wait for my bone plating. I want to break this bot tower though if I can. Okay, well, they get the shutdown. I might actually look here. Actually, maybe I'll look mid. Hmm, I'll come red first and then I'll decide what I want to do. I think it is better if Carthus just gets the farm mid generally, like, than me. But at the same time, if he's not farming it, maybe I should be there. Okay, I have bone plating up. We have Carthus ult. And I can jump on this Anivia. So if she shows in lane, I'm definitely jumping on her head. Um, Anivia has TP now, and so do I. I'm going to watch top. Yeah, I'm going to TP to this early. Oh, this is matched, but I think we just... Can we just kill this guy? Okay. This is a big shutdown. Oh, and a Magi as well. Oh, and a failed flash. Oh my god, everything is coming up shock right now. Can we get this guy? I have a red buff. I think we kill this guy too, right? Well, they're pretty low. Not bad. Well, anyway, I have a lot of gold. I need 300 more. Is there any chance I can get a kill? I feel like there's a kind of low chance. Well, maybe there's a decent chance if I play it well. I really want this gold. Oh, I'm just going to hit him over the wall. I actually do a lot of damage. Okay, nice. We're getting an assist. And I got a kill. All right, that's what we're all about. This one for me too. No, I didn't crit. Okay, that's real good though. So that was huge. I mean, we shut down this guy. So we got his gold and we got rid of his Magi's. So that puts us in a super good spot. I actually love that. Um, so what do we build now? It should probably be... Does it need to be LDR? I think it does. So we'll go for LDR next. So they got a lot of armor. So we might as well get this. Kaisen wants to go bots. Kind of weird, but yeah, sure. She can get the tower. This Nivea is so weak, by the way. She has no Leandries, no nothing. At, uh, what is this, 18 minutes? <laughs> She's zero stack Magi. <laughs> Look, it happens to the best. Um, and to this guy, of course. He's not the best. So I'll shove this wave out. Wait, this guy didn't go AP? I guess it's fine. Like, Carthus should be strong. Carthus should be strong. So we'll shove this out, and we'll play for drag next. Alawi shouldn't be too much of a problem yet. She will be an issue later on, but I think for now that she's fine. We'll shove this in. We've got to go into Bot River. Ooh, his karma's... I don't know, he's getting a bit freaky with it. Hmm. I want to be a bit careful with Diana. I don't really want to fight in a choke and just get AoE'd. We kind of want to, like, make a pick or... Ooh, we'll go on someone that's isolated. Wait, what happened to my E? I guess they got... It just disappeared because of the fog war. If they engage on Carthus, it's fine. Because if this guy dies, he's still going to ult after. So, it doesn't really matter. Oh, did he not have ult? Maybe he didn't have ult. Okay, well, we should probably not fight then. Well, Kaiser died as well. Kaiser died to... Uh, Alawi, I guess. So, I guess that means Dragon is gone. Uh, maybe we can just play for Alawi instead. Yeah, I think we just play for the quick Alawi kill. Although, she might just be out. Hmm. But she's actually kind of strong. I'll clear that. Can I do anything to drag still? I don't think so. I mean, we didn't have Carthus Ult and Kaiser died, so it's probably fine. I would normally take Krugs here, because I have priority and nothing else to do, but I think taking Krugs from Carthus is a bit not good. Like, this this champ above all else needs like as much gold as possible, especially because he is the literal solo AP. So I'm just going to shove this, and then maybe I could look to collapse mid. Could I do another wave? 
possibly, but these guys look pretty overextended. So I'm just going to collapse mid instead. They are going to see me. Oh, I'm looking at Diana. Guys. She has to run down, or she has to run into me. Where'd she go? Probably basing in, like, this bush, maybe. Not this one. Next one. Mm, did she do Krugs? I think she's just out. Oh, she did do Krugs. God damn it. Didn't it? Oh, we got her off the Krugs. Okay, that's actually fine. I don't have TP. Could we do this? I mean, honestly, like, we probably could. We have a lot of DPS. And Diana was bot side. So I think here, because they do it so fast, I might actually just show mid, and then they won't think we're doing it. I think that's actually the play. So I'm just going to show mid real quick, and they're probably like, okay, they're definitely not doing Baron. And then what I'll do is after this, I'll go and hit Baron. I think we got it, though. So this should be good. Oh, we smited pretty early, though. <laughs> okay, we got that. Now, can we take these Raptors real quick? This is a bit greedy, but I'm just going to try yoink them. Oh my god, I bombed the wrong target. And I ordered the wrong target, too. Well... Didn't quite get them. Um, now, we should probably gank this Alawi before she becomes an issue. I'm, I'm just going to TP behind her, I think. Just going to go... Yeah, go for this. We need to try to shut her down, um, and that'll make it really easy to use Baron. Um, they should probably just wait for me, but honestly, maybe they'll just kill her anyway. Okay. Nice. So we get the kill there. Now, I don't have TP, but it should be fine as long as we look to, like, Baron mid and bot i suppose and uh, we're not too worried about losing that top tower to anivia so i'm just gonna ping mid and bot this is what we're playing for now should be fine yeah i think this will be fine because <laughs> the draven items as well they their entire team was really ahead early but they've kind of just like not fallen off in terms of like scaling they've just fallen off in terms of play um oh this guy is i kind of want to dash at him to be honest Oh, one more auto would have done it. But maybe we can alter? She don't think she dies. Probably altered her off me a bit too soon. I wasn't sure how much damage she'd do, but I think her build is too defensive to kill me, so... Well, Anivia is such an annoying gem. <laughs> it's fine, we'll get the siege down eventually. Just need to wait a little bit. And hmm, I'm not sure about pushing mid and, I mean, bottom top. Normally you want to push the lane adjacent, so it's easy to rotate. Yeah, I think we I think Renekton can kind of troll by pushing top. I mean, I guess we can kill Draven, but now we can't actually do anything without Baron. So, yeah, I don't really like it, to be honest. I think that's definitely a misplay from him. I guess I'll stay bot for now and just farm up my LDR, because I have nothing else really to do. I don't think this guy died, right? Did he actually get out? I just don't get how they keep getting away. Okay, well, I can sell my refillable and grab my LDR at this point, which is really good. It does feel weird to be basing when my team is making a play, though. I'm going to run here out of base. I don't actually have TP. Oh, wow, Dino went this way. I think she's just dead, though. Doesn't look that strong. Okay, I'm coming. Got him. Huge. Okay, might quickly gank Alawi. I don't know if she has ult or not. I didn't pay attention. Let's just assume that she does. Oh, okay, no TP. That's actually really big. Like, makes it a lot harder for her to pressure side if she does not have TP. So that's a pretty big win, I'd say. Maybe we can look for a play mid. I don't know. Our, our post Baron macro has been so awful. Like, I think it's been fine for like most of the team, but I think overall, like, just with the one or two people out of position, it's meant that we got like literally nothing with Baron, even though we have like a bed Tristana. You know, we should just be like knocking down towers left and right, and instead we're just like AFK farming. <laughs> So, don't really like that. I am going to jump on this Draven if he shows again. There is a Karma next to him, but I honestly don't think it matters. I actually just one-shot him. Okay, I'm going to collapse top. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at this guy. So, I killed the Draven. Um, I can still fight here, probably. Like, I have Navori. Mm, it's not looking amazing. Flash that. I think this still looks good. Oh yeah, this is a easy team fight win. That guy dies. Oh my god, I kind of smurfed that one. What do you guys think? Dude, how did he get all the kills for that? I swear, I played that fight so well, and that guy just stole everything. Okay, so we probably don't need to run straight to drag, so I'm just going to push this out. Although, or do I need to save him both sides? I'm not sure. I kind of want to take a tower. Yeah, I have TP, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a tower first, and then I'm just going to base TP to drag, probably. I think that's the way to go. I'll knock down this tower first. Yeah, we'll take this if we can. 
So I'm just going to reset. I got CP in 20. Um, what do we buy now? Probably a BT would go pretty hard, I think. Yeah, we'll go for the BT next. First. Or shield bow. I wonder which better. Probably probably the BT. Or maybe I go more. Oh, I don't know. These guys are so weak. I swear everyone's so weak. I'll just go for the BT. I think it's the best. All right, so I'm going to come straight to dragon here. And yeah, come straight to drag, I think. Can, who can be here? I mean, I guess Diana, that's like the person I have to be careful of face checking, but I think it should be fine. Like, I'm three levels up on her, and this guy still has no mythic at 26 minutes. And he's building Everfrost of all mythics. I feel like Everfrost, like, it's really good, don't get me wrong, but if you're building it later in the game, I feel, I feel like Leandris is already better, you know? It's a bit hard for me to get in here. My god, how are you allowed to do that? I guess because I don't know who's behind him. Oh, she's dead, I think. Okay, nice flash. Okay, well, we can pressure Baron soon enough, so for now, I'll probably just cross the, cross the top side. I want to take away these raptors if I can. Any gold I can take away from Diana is really good, so let's try yoink these real quick. We get all those. I uh, don't think I'll be able to get the red, but I'm just going to try scare her off it, maybe. Yeah, probably not. Well, I'll quickly... I'm going to ward... Oh my god, I thought that was a yellow ward. Not a blue trinket. Well, I'll shove this. Um, I don't know if I can go to those Krugs. I'm a bit scared of who can be here. I think for now I'm just going to kind of run up and down the river. Or like up and down this kind of little place here. And just pressure them a little bit. Try to keep this wave pushed when I can. I don't have flash. So I do need to be a bit careful of that. Hmm. Maybe they're looking for me? I mean, I should be fine. I have Carthus ult to play with as well. Now, we can look Baron, and I think we do want to, like, force Baron, to be honest, because we need to make sure that Alawi can't just split push win condition, and also, like, we should just destroy them in a fight at the moment. It's maybe scary if Diana steals it, but it should be really hard for Diana to steal it, because it's so, so hard to get in here. Okay, yeah, we just get it instantly. Um, we can actually still look fight. Oh my god. Fighter, so you're a madman for that. But this should still actually work out. Um, I want a W somewhere here. Oh, maybe this guy. Or maybe this guy. Oh, I got another jump. <laughs> Who can be in here? No one, I think, right? Uh, maybe I have to base and deal with a Lowey. Actually, someone's already based. I'll just try to kill this guy. How did that hit me? I don't think it matters, though. Guy does no damage. Oh, are we ending? I can probably base TP and end. Ooh, not if they die, though. Yeah, I'm going to TP. Let's look for end. I'm just going to buy a pot. Let's just play for it. I think it's done. All right. So that is a GG, I believe. I mean, let's, actually, let's not call it too early. I've lost games like this before. Who's this? Alawi. Can I kill this in time? No. Hmm. It might have been a bit of a suicidal jump. I can just kill the thing. Where did my Kaisa go? Oh, I ordered Karma once! Okay, I won. Oh my god, where did my Kaisa go, though? He just ditched me. That was a good game, though. I think I played really well that game. I'm actually really happy with how I played that one. I think mid-gap was really, really big, obviously, so we're pretty happy with how that went. Um, who should we honor overall? I think... Let's give our honor to Karthus. I think Karthus played pretty well in this one. Let's check the damage. I, I think I would have done pretty solid damage in this one. Plus 31. We do take those. Damage. Oh my god, Carver's damage was ridiculous. But yeah, I mean, the Anivia was really low. She built pretty badly, I think, and played the lane kind of badly too. I don't know. It was... Uh, if you lose two towers in this matchup, or just in two starter in general, you're going to have a really, really rough time. Oh, I got a tilt proof from Swiper. Thank you, big dog. Um, I believe that puts our win rate at like 76%, maybe? It, it's pretty high. Let me, let me refresh it real quick. Yeah, it's 76%. Take a look at this, fellas. Yeah, so currently sitting at 76% and Chandra feels pretty good. Um, we're definitely climbing up the ranks. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the Tristana gameplay. It's not a champ I played very often, but it was a very good game for it, I think. Um, not a lot of ways to punish the short range. And I was in a matchup where I knew I could snowball. So that's going to be it for this one. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.